stay tuned and let's upgrade our Marvel Legends Wolverine with these custom head sculpts. Pow and welcome back to the channel Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember now you can hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today we're doing a little action figure upgrade. And if you couldn't tell with all of these in the background, it is obviously Wolverine Logan related. As once again, thanks to James at Die Show Creations, I've been sent some custom 3D printed head sculpts to give my own figures a little bit of an upgrade. So you know what to do. Go and follow Die Show Creations on Instagram but most importantly check out his Etsy store so you can see for yourself his custom 3D printed Marvel, DC movies and game head sculpts. Honestly so much good stuff there. Go and check them out for yourself as in these little cases I actually have four custom Wolverine head sculpts. Look at this one. A cigar smoking gritted teeth battle damaged Wolverine. Unfortunately never something Hasbro are going to be able to give us uh, so this is going to be able to upgrade potentially one of these in the background to give my own collection a little bit of flavor as that's what I love about displaying no two displays are the same everyone is welcome to give them their own little twist and thanks to Dolce Show Creations I hopefully am going to be able to do that today so I've got four head sculpts let's first check them out so here we have the four different head sculpts sent over really nicely packaged I really like the presentation by Dolce Show Creations he takes care when sending these over to you and you can see we've got two custom Logan head sculpts, both smoking a cigar, one with a closed mouth, the other with gritted teeth. And then we also have some battle damage sort of tiger stripe cowl with blood, one with the open mouth screaming while the other one has the cigar in the gritted teeth. Honestly, all of these are so nice and they all just have sort of holes in the bottom. So if you add a little bit of blue tack, you can make these work and fit on any of your Marvel Legend Wolverines or Logans. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try and pair these up with the best body to see which one I'm going to work with on my display. But once again, bravo. These look great. Let's check them out one by one and see those details. The first head sculpt we're going to check out is this Logan head sculpt with the closed mouth but with the cigar honestly this is so nice and let me just say that Dolce Show Creations 3D prints these out and paints them but the head sculpts are actually done by Oribus I will put the links in the description so you can check out his work Oribus22 on Instagram he is the actual 3D designer of all of these sculpts and then Dolce Show prints them out but look at the detail again when you combine two artists together this is the type of detail you can get so so nice now the body I've chosen here is the recent Marvel Legends Logan body that came in the two-pack with Sabretooth now by no means am I saying the head sculpts that we got with that are any good uh, honestly the legends with the 3d digital face print in tech are getting better and better but I just don't think at that sort of mass retail in the factories you're going to get this type of detail this is so nice down to the five o'clock shadow on the face with the cigar sticking out out. First of all, I don't think you'd get the cigar ever on a Marvel Legend. It would never get the past the license ears. But uh, look at the detail in the sculpt as well with the hair and the sideburns all the way round. And as I said, you pop it on at the ball joint with a little bit of blue tack and you can still utilize the range of the regular disc and hinge as well, looking up and looking down. Um, and yeah, hindered a little bit maybe by uh, the just the sheer volume of those sideburns. But look at that for a neutral expression really really nice we also get the same head sculpt but this time with a different expression as he has the gritted teeth but of course he is still clenching onto that cigar and both of the cigars are like not really thin they've got a lot of thickness to them and they don't feel too brittle like I'm sure if I put some pressure to that it would snap off but it, it doesn't go it's not going to break itself is what I'm saying and again the creases on the face there's even a little bit of glossiness and a little bit of a shine to his eyes as well when the light catches it 
it just right. But again, the hair sculpt is the same as the other with all the nice unique detail all the way around. So once again, just for a Logan head sculpt, this body is probably the best option we have. There are some others with maybe the previous Logan. Let's try that. Unfortunately, that won't work. The jacket is too like close to the neck and the sideburns are way too thick. I don't want to risk sort of pushing that down anymore. So the best option for these head sculpts will definitely be the recent Logan body we've got with the pinless arms. He's got the better articulation with the obviously the torso and the swivel at the waist. And um, so yeah, this is definitely the best body for these Logan head sculpts. And this is how I'm going to display my Logan on the shelf. Absolutely. But as I said, I could be here all day swapping this head on all of the different Wolverine bodies. But even the fully uniformed bodies, you could still use as an unmasked Logan head with the cigar in his mouth. Really nice to have these options. Now let's move on to these battle damaged head sculpts because there is so much detail here. So first and foremost, I have chosen, I think this is the uh, the Love Triangle Wolverine with the yellow and the blue, the one that came with bone claws that I am using as I think the yellow painted on the cowl matches really well. And you can see you've got the half cowl here that actually has some really nice like bullet holes and scratches and scars and scrapes all up the textured cowl and then round to this side of the face you can see it's been peeled off and not only that you've got blood all over his chin over his face with the big open mouth all the teeth painted separately a little bit of glossiness to the tongue and if you look really really close under the lights you can see it glimmering you can see that adamantium sort of skull shining out from where some of the skin has been ripped and peeled off with the blood honestly this type of detail you won't get from legends and it's so so cool to see in person but you've still got the really nice hair sculpt and the sideburns obviously not on this side as he's wearing the mask but around here you can see the mask has been ripped off so the sideburns are out the hair is all sticking out and uh, yeah, honestly, so much detail. You can even see some of the mask around the back here, but the hair tufts are all sticking out. And like even on the top there, you can see some of the detail. Honestly, this is so, so nice. If you're into ACBA and taking pictures and you wanted a battle damage Wolverine, then uh, look no further than this. Really, really nice. And then the fourth and final head sculpt I have gotten is still the sort of battle damaged cowl, but now he is celebrating a battle well fought with a cigar and you can see his self-generating healing factor is already kicked in as now the skin is a little bit better but you've still got the blood and like sort of veins all going around the face honestly there is so much detail in that head sculpt really really nice with the cigar in the gritted teeth again the head sculpt is the same with the hair all the way around, but it's just really nicely painted as well. Again, when you combine those two artists with the 3D print uh, and the sculpt and then the paint, really, really nice attention to detail. So yeah, these are definitely gonna spruce up the display without a doubt, so, so good. And uh, again, these head sculpts will work on any bodies, but I do feel that the sort of Logan heads fit better with the brand new Logan. And then this Love Triangle three pack matches up really well with the battle damaged cowl look at them. So to wrap up, here we have each of the different head sculpts on a different Marvel Legends body. And I don't think anyone can dispute that each of these isn't an upgrade because it absolutely is. And by no means am I saying what Hasbro have given us is terrible. I actually think Legends are getting better and better with their head sculpts and the utilization of that digital face print in tech. This is just something and this is just detail that they cannot really replicate at the mass volume in these factories. These are pieces of art, essentially, a collaboration of artists within the community. Shout out Oribus for the sculpt and the design, and then shout out Daisho for the actual printing and the paint, because the detail on these are so, so nice. These are absolutely getting embedded into the display. I love that I have Logan now smoking a cigar, obviously something Hasbro could never do. And then we've got the expression and the emotion of the battle that Wolverine has been through with that ripped up cowl and blood on his face. Honestly, can't say enough good things. Make sure you go and check out everything. Links in the description. But if you like Marvel Legends, you are absolutely in the right place. Check out the videos tab, find the playlist. But most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Hit all on the notification bell. Don't miss out on a video. And please hit that join button. Become a channel member. Either show some love 
or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Support the channel, be a part of the channel. It's as simple as that. Shout out Dice Show Creations once again. Links in the description. Follow me on Instagram at It's Dan Who. I'm on Twitter or X at Dan Who Reviews. And I will, of course, see you on the next one. Bye.